Welcome back, first graders. So we have been reading Henry and Mudge and the Big Sleepover. So in the first chapter, it was called Raining Popcorn. And we found out that it wasn't really going to rain popcorn. Henry and Mudge are just excited about all the popcorn that they're going to have at the sleepover. So if we think about the important things from chapter one, it's basically that Henry and Mudge were invited to a sleepover and they're super excited to go. Now, chapter two is called Bouncy. So we want to think about what's the most important thing to remember from chapter two. And we also want to think about how the chapters in the story are connected. So the first chapter, they were invited to the sleepover. So that's what got the story started. So now we'll have to see what happens next in the story in the chapter Bouncy. So go ahead and make your prediction. What do you think Bouncy is going to be about? Okay, hold that prediction in your head, and as we read through the story, we'll check your prediction and see if you were right. Bouncy. When Henry and Mudge got to pra Patrick's house on Saturday, the living room was full of boys and dogs. Everyone was bouncy. So I was kind of guessing that bouncy was going to mean they were hyper and there was a lot of energy, and it seems like that might be correct. The boys were bouncy. The dogs were bouncy. Patrick's parents looked nervous. They had a million knickknacks. Everybody to the attic, said Patrick's father, catching a knickknack in the air. Henry and Mudge followed everybody to the attic. It was enormous. Wow, said Henry. It's like a ship. The boys and dogs got bouncy again. Have fun, said Patrick's father with a big smile. There wasn't a knick-knack in sight. He closed the door and the sleepover began. So if you were predicting that bouncy was going to mean that the kids were super hyper and the dogs were full of energy at the sleepover, you were correct. And we could tell that Patrick's parents weren't very happy about them being so bouncy because if we look at their face and it even says his parents look nervous, that tells me that they're worried that something's going to get broken. So that's why they shipped everyone off to the attic during the sleepover. So if we think about how our chapters are connected, in chapter one, Henry gets invited to the sleepover. In chapter two, he goes to the sleepover. So Cynthia Ryland is telling our story in order. First, then. So next is going to be giant lizards. So we'll have to wait and see until next time what giant lizards might mean.